Howdy, my name's Harrison Howard. I'm an adventure illustrator and graphic designer. Let's go draw a landscape. Step one is drawing a jagged line near the center of your page. The more jagged you make this line, the more epic your peaks and valleys are. From there, we're gonna add some depth. Draw one or several jagged lines behind your main mountain. Then when you're done with that, draw a large jagged Y. This will create a valley as a foreground. By making the lines in the foreground thicker and the lines in the background thinner, you can really accentuate the depth. Be sure to draw your Y all the way to the edge of your canvas. This will give you a really dynamic composition. Now that we've got some basic depth going, let's add some details. Draw two horizontal lines to make a lake or an oasis. This is a really good way to make some middle ground quickly. This nature scene wouldn't be complete without some plants, so let's add some pine trees. It's easier than you might think to make a pine tree. All you need is a single line for the trunk and then scribbles from the top to the bottom outward. Best part about drawing nature is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can also add trees in the distance by just drawing tiny little triangles along the lakeside. The more you draw, the better they get. Let's add some details to our mountains. From each of the peaks of your mountains, draw a jagged line down. This jagged line will represent the ridge line of your mountains. It's a great way to guide the detail that you're gonna draw into them. Using your original jagged lines and now those new ridge lines as guides, you can add a lot of fun detail to accentuate any feature of the mountain that you'd like. The last step would be adding some simple shading to your lake. Shade the edges, leaving the center lighter. And that's how you draw a mountainous landscape. Thanks for watching along. I can't wait to see what you draw.